Hello, my soccer universe. Let's look at my third ever Africa jersey, which is kind of the big one. We're talking, of course, of course, about Nigeria 2018-19. So that's the current one that they're wearing at the AFCON. They also wore this at the last World Cup, and it has become probably most probably the most famous jersey released for the World Cup. It was at the time released only limited quantities. You practically could not get it. Nowadays, uh, they pulled, uh, gave out a normal run. So if you want to have it, you can get it for a normal price. However, when I got this, and I think this was in uh, early April, late March, early April, um, they didn't have it released yet and I saw it on eBay for 40 euros and I said including shipping it was 30 euros and then uh, shipping was kind of expensive and I said well I gotta give it a chance it looks from a distance it looks legit enough from all the pictures that I just gotta see whether it's the real deal and you have my unpacking video uh, up here uh, where I can tell you that I thought it was the real deal However, the material, it really feels like the real Nike material. If I look at the taping here, look at it here, and I'll show you the one that I have for France, for my France jersey, where I know this is legit. It is pretty much the same thing. Yes, if I look at it next to each other, it is very, very, very similar. Uh, also, when, you know, the material here and the material here, this feels, both of these jerseys, the material feels absolutely the same. It's the same smooth, silky smooth material. Um, if I compare the swooshes, the swoosh here and the swoosh here, the way they are made, absolutely no difference. So at least the material is the right one. Um, however, there are few things that give it away that I don't think that this is an absolute legitimate jersey. Uh, the first thing that made me a little bit wary is that the uh, size details. And you know, I've only worn this a little bit and they're already coming off again when I look at it in my France and English shirt where they're a little bit deeper in because they're stuff in uh, the size details are all still very much there uh, but they are pretty much the same same thing so you know there is already one indication that this is not 100% the real deal uh, the major giveaway for me is if you look here those rounded corners here absolutely rounded when i compare this to the england shirt who is from the cut who are very similar there's nothing rounded it comes in a point when i look at the nigeria jerseys in match they all come into a point so uh from that point of view already hinting of it this is not the real deal now uh a little bit uh, more if i look at the way that the seams are I don't know if this is easily comparable. You see here, those are kind of a little, I mean, they're there, but they're a little bit sloppy. Look at how nicely they're done on the England jersey. They're really nicely done here. Here, I mean, it's the same material, but it's basically just stitching the inside on. Uh, it becomes even more apparent on the sleeves. Um, and that, to me, was the biggest giveaway, uh, the biggest other giveaway, except for the rounded corner. Look at the... The width of the sleeves here on the England jersey the width and now let's compare it Nigeria is by the slightest of margins wider and this you know is another indication yes this is probably a copy uh there's more to it uh, the inside here inside color here it's kind of 
it's not badly made but it's kind of sloppily made but you know you don't find that this is cut like that on a real jersey so you know they got the materials from somewhere and then they were uh, sewing their own jersey this is how this came about I absolutely think that this is the way that this happened the crest absolutely the real deal absolutely the real deal the swoosh absolutely the real deal uh, the only thing that the only other thing that is not uh, that was also giveaway is if you look at the authentic tag here looks good doesn't it let's compare it I'll take the France jersey the tag from the France jersey and I'll pull it over my shoulder and let's compare the tags once more here's Nigeria next with the France tag do you see how the France tag is a lot shinier and I mean a lot shinier you can directly see that they look very similar the France tag is a lot shinier um, they're also size wise and I guess this is better seen if you look at this one the borders here of the black and here the borders those are a little bit thinner it is just by fraction but you know it's those minor minor details where you have to look into other than that this jersey it looks awesome absolutely looks awesome I, I, I actually if you get a real one here is also a little bit more of a dip as i said i've uh, just made a jersey review on this one I was not so sold on the black and white here. I was not so sold on this kind of that. This is a striping, but it looks very organic. It really looks like an eagle. Uh, overall, it is an absolutely fine jersey. This one, um, however, even on the back, I mean, it looks really the deal. I was even comparing it down to the. I was counting how many points are on this one and are on the real one. It's the exact same thing. I mean, there's it's very, very minor differences. So, in a way, I have this absolute beauty. I, it is a beauty, although I was not 100% sold on it when I saw it the first time. On the other side, I know <laughs> it's not quite 100% legit. So, what shall I do? Shall I keep this one or shall I get the real deal and sell this one on? Because I think I can recoup my money probably relatively easily for that one. I have to decide on that one. For now, I want to keep this. It is just, you know, the colors are luminous as they should be. The, it, everything's there. It's just the way that it's put together is just not uh, right just not quite right and uh, especially when I look what they've did here on the inside collar I mean this is amateur stuff this is absolutely amateur stuff and for that reason uh, I know this is a counterfeit jersey but it's still <laughs> it's one of my favorite jerseys uh, that I got this year I've been wearing it actually a lot and uh, I get good responses with it it's only nuts like me that know that there's a difference anyway let me know what you think about it i think it's a very decent replica lab know what you would do with this shall i resell it and get the original one now that it's easily available or shall i just don't mind and keep this one i mean it i didn't pay full price which is usually my um minimum requirement any comments on that uh welcome uh, let, me, let me know what you think about this jersey in general. I think it's an absolute classic and you know if you watch my Women's World Cup review and my uh, FCON re review and even on my blog I've written a lot about this one so I don't think I need to explain it much more. Um, but anyway give me a thumbs up if you like this jersey. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe. And with that I want to wish you a wonderful day.